This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Makers and just going to do a little overview video of what Extra Life is and give you guys some tips and information on National Game Day. Basically, I wanted to put this video together as kind of a annual go-to guide for anyone interested in Extra Life because if anybody knows me, anybody who comes to my channel or seen me on any podcast, what have you, they know that I am very passionate about Extra Life and it's something that I would like to get as many people as possible into so with that I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the breakdown on what extra life is the things that you could do to help support it and some tips on what would be best to do in support of the cause Now, generally, the first question that comes to mind is, what is Extra Life? Now, I'm not going to go into too many details. I will try to remember to put a link in this description to let you guys look at it and see exactly what's the inspiration behind Extra Life. It was inspired by a sick child by the name of Victoria Enmon. Um, I believe I'm saying the name correctly. Forgive me if I'm not. Um, there's a really good video that will touch your heart that's available right now on YouTube so I'll link you to that but for the most part what extra life is is it's where thousands of players around the world get together and play games to promote the cause and try to raise money for Children's Miracle Network Children's Miracle Network is a charity that's been around for quite some time now I actually remember when my mom actually um, participated in the 24-hour telethon when it used to come on um, TV every year um, and I believe it still does um, but their goal is to raise money to help um, finance um, medical research for children as well as help these children's hospitals continue to operate um, right now National Game Day is dedicated to North America but we'll get into that a bit in a bit the point is this is a charity that's based on raising money to help kids so what better um, you know I can't think of a better type of charity to get yourself involved in I mean it's very it's a very very unique and wonderful charity and I highly recommend that you guys get into it Now, on to National Game Day. What exactly is National Game Day? National Game Day is the day where gamers all over the world get together and participate in gaming within a 24-hour period in celebration and in promotion of the Extra Life Charity Drive. Basically, you can um, live stream, host public events, any type of event where gaming is involved is the theme that's the goal of National Gaming Day it's not just dedicated to being online I'm going to do a 24-hour live stream where I'm gonna play games on my console some people will do um, live streams where they play on the PC doesn't matter you can even live stream yourself sitting at a desk with your friends playing board games or you don't even have to live stream at all that's not the point the live stream part is just one of the many venues that you can use to promote extra life you can rent out a public place and play it you can be in your house host a charity party with your friends however you want to do it the point is on that day we game in celebration and in support of extra life that is the purpose of national game day generally speaking national game day is always the first saturday of the month of november each year so you can kind of plan around it if you're going to participate in this each and every year. They will announce the exact date, so you will get plenty of time. You'll get it in months in advance. You don't have to worry and panic 
and think, oh my God, they haven't, you know, announced National Game Day. It's not here yet. When is it going to be? What's the time? Oh my God, they just dropped it on us. Um, how am I going to prepare? Children's Miracle Network and Extra Life give you plenty of time to prepare, so you'll know well months in advance. But generally, um, from experience, it's always the first Saturday of November every year. Now, one of the things that I want to make clear is that National Game Day is not the only day in which you have to support Extra Life. It's not the only day that you're held to supporting Extra Life. Extra Life is a 365-day-a-year charity, 24-7. At any time you want to promote or try to raise money for Extra Life, you can it's not just close to National Game Day. What National Game Day is, is just that one day where all gamers are asked to get together and basically go all out. Kind of like any other charity that you see out there that has telethons, marathons, and things like that. Though That one day isn't the only day that they raise um, funds, you know. Like, we're currently, at the time of this recording, in the Susan B. Cohen month. That doesn't mean that you only try to support and raise money to help fight breast cancer in the month of October. It's a year-round thing. Same thing with Extra Life. You know, it's a constant struggle, a constant fight, something that we're always committed to and trying to promote. Me and myself, if you pay attention to my videos, I always have the 10-second role where I talk about Extra Life and my team, Team BJO. Um, I'm always putting it out there, letting you guys know the information's in the description because I'm not, I don't just do Extra Life for that day. I do it because it's a cause that I believe in and it's a charity that I would like to help as much as possible. So, no, you're not contained to that um, one day. Um, it's, it's really as much as you want, as much as you can. However, however much you're willing to help out that's the point you know that's the point with charities it's all about helping out it's not just doing it just for an event or anything like that so feel free to promote extra life as much as possible at any time of that you, of the year that you want to now again i stress this because a lot of people tend to think that when you say National Game Day, they usually focus on video games. And people are wondering, is there, you know, any specific video games that you play, any specific genre or whatever? The answer to that is you play whatever you want. And it's not, again, just limited to video games. Board games, um, any type of recreational game. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a console. You can do it with the controller. You can do it with dice. Gaming is the key because you're doing the gaming to celebrate the purpose of Extra Life, where what it came from, what it was born from, which was gaming supporting a sick child and helping to raise their spirits. And that's the whole point of Extra Life. It's in that, in the honor of that, like one touching moment that people rally together to support someone that we do this we're doing this to continue to um to continue that spirit of that moment and just again to help raise money for the children's miracle network that's the purpose so if you're a big monopoly player and you got some friends who love to play monopoly sit at the sit at home play monopoly um you guys let people know what you're doing that's the thing when it comes to national game day just let people know exactly what you're doing why you're doing it and what you'll be doing and ask for the support you know that's that's the basis of it you're not limited to certain games if you're on um a console or pc playing video games rpgs fps action adventure uh, strategy puzzle whatever you want to play it's just all about gaming in honor of the event. That's all it is, you know. Again, at home, sit there, play Monopoly, Scrabble, um, shoots and ladders. If people still play shoots and ladders, doesn't matter. The, you, the point is, you're doing this on National Game Day. 
in honor of the charity and that's what counts the most the charity so have fun play what you want and you know that's it now just to be clear even though national game day is a 24-hour event you are not, I repeat, you're not obligated to play games, to live stream, to promote the entire 24 hours. I'm doing it because it's something that I want to do. It, it, it's, a, it's a choice on how long you want to do it. The point is that that's the day where they would appreciate it if those of us who are committed to this charity come out and support it in any way for however long that we can. You don't have to sit for the entire 20 hours and promote this. Whatever time you have to give on that day is appreciated. The fact that you're committed to helping raise awareness and to raise funds for Extra Life on National Game Day is the thing that's the most appreciated. It, you, it, no one's going to be mad at you or going to dock you in your charity efforts if you don't play for 24 hours. So please. Don't feel like that you have to. It's just not, it's not an obligation. It's nice if you would like to do that, but it's definitely not an ob obligation. An hour, 30 minutes, whatever time you can give, five hours, it doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is you're helping to support the charity on National Game Day, and that's what counts the most. Now, Everybody understands that this is a charity drive and with charity drive, you don't really get paid to do that. That being said, Extra Life does appreciate the efforts that people put in and they have sponsors who appreciate the effort as well. So there are some incentives to participating in Extra Life. You do get prizes that are given by some of the different sponsors. Like this year, people who are backing Extra Life are Ubisoft, uh, XSplit, um, Reddit, Rooster T, Wizards of the Coast, those are just a few to, uh, that I'm naming that support this. And you will get emails when you sign up for Extra Life where they'll let you know like if you reach a certain goal, we'll give you this. Twitch gave away Turbo for free for a month. Um, Humble Bundle, I think, is giving away some type of dis discount this year. I know, um, Ubisoft, for everybody who signed up, they gave them a free code for the Rainbow Six Beta at the beginning. XSplit usually gives you like a free month or two. You know, different things like that. People will kick in a little incentives for each level of um, donations that you reach. So there is some incentive to this if, you know, that helps motivate you. Um, hopefully your motivation for this charity is just to raise money. But it is nice to know that there are people out there who appreciate your efforts and are willing to help you, help, you know, motivate you by trying to, like, give you something to work towards so you can get, you will get a t-shirt if you reach a certain goal as well from um, Extra Life, which is really, really cool. Um, you know, there are benefits to doing this beyond just the satisfaction of helping people, even though the satisfaction of helping people should be your biggest motivation and your biggest drive if you're going to involve yourself in, in Extra Life. Now, what's the best way to help promote Extra Life? Um, what I'm doing now is a good way. Uh, printing out flyers, that always helps. Going around calling um, people or anybody you talk to, like, hey, I'm doing a charity drive for Extra Life. Um, what's Extra Life? Well, here, here's the thing in letting them know what Extra Life is. Whatever you can do that's respectable is fine. You know, I'm not saying like go out there and do something wild and crazy, spend tons of money to promote this, you know, but use your imagination and just talk about it, if anything. I mean, you don't even have to do anything that serious I mean it's up to you to figure out how you feel is the best way to carry across the message without being offensive without being overbearing and without being disrespectful and, and, and an embarrassment to 
the Children's Miracle Network and Extra Life. You know, you don't want to go out there and do something super silly. It's it's kind of a common sense thing, you know. You know what's too far and what's not too far. So, but beyond that, just use your imagine be imagination, be creative. Like I said, you can do public events, you can do bake sales, you know, and have it where you just like have a little slip of paper that talks about extra life, you know, and you can let people know that the money is going to charity. Sometimes when people find out that things that you're doing is going to be on ch be done for charity, they'll kick in a little extra because they are, you know. They admire the fact that you're working this hard to help raise money for a, a noble cause. You know what I mean? You can. There, there are ways. There are ways to promote it. Just again, I just ask that you be respectful. Um, you don't do anything like too over the top, and you keep it all within you know the limits of right and wrong. I guess I should say. You know, uh, just don't do anything crazy. But yeah however you feel would best promote it in that respectable um sensible way it should be fine if there's anything that you think that may not be fine feel free to contact extra life they have contact information on their page and they can tell you whether or not they approve of certain actions so it, it's really not that hard to um, figure out what's the best way to promote it's it, ultimately it's going to come down to what you're more comfortable in what you're good at doing, to be quite honest. So that's pretty much the answer to that question right there. Now, again, if there's any questions, feel free to head to the Extra Life website. They have a fax page. They have information. They also have a contact a link. You can feel free to contact them and hopefully they'll be able to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, if you don't get an answer from them you can always ask someone that you know who's into extra life me for instance i am more than willing to answer questions i've done extra life um the previous year so i have a pretty good idea what goes on and what they like what they don't like um so you can ask me if i don't know it i'll find it for you i'm more than willing to help whatever it takes to help you guys get on your feet i'm willing to do all right that's pretty much it for this long video Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And again, as always, hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I'll holler at you later. This is your boy Black Megas and I'm out. Deuces.